Okay, so in this chapter we are going to look at these two buttons, which are the mirror and the align button, which are very useful. Now, if you've done any 3D modeling, I'm sure that you know about the mirror button. Basically, if you just have a very simple shape like this, what the mirror button does is it simply, if we select it, it allows us to mirror things um, together. Now, this mirroring, we, we need to set this to copy if we want to be able to see it. So here you can see. Um, basically, it works like this. I, I need to have like a... Because you cannot actually see it on the cube. So let me just... There we go. So now we can at least see what we're doing. So, the mirror. Um, if you have no clone on, no clone on is very handy if you quickly want to swap around your selected model in a different way. You can swap it around in multiple different angles. It just depends on what you need to use. If you, however, want to create another model that is just like a clone, you can simply copy and then you can also use it. Um, when you use the copy, basically what happens is it will look at your pivot point. So that's why I tend to just use my, I tend to just copy it and then mirror it. However, if you feel like copying it, you could technically set the mirror for, or you can set the pivot point, for example, uh, on this location. And you know that this model, uh, the end of this model will end up here. So now if I would mirror this on clone, you can see that now it will swap between those pieces and, um, like this you can change your pivot but yeah because you can you need to be in this view in order to do this i would re reserve symmetry for this but symmetry we will go over later so that's just like a very quick way and then you have two different models uh, one quick thing often when you mirror something the normals get inverted so if i go over here and reset my x form i just need to make double sure actually i need to reset both of them it doesn't happen always, but it does happen quite often. Um, also with like, uh, let's see. So if I go ahead and I just go object properties and I just go back face curl. Okay, so this time it doesn't work. Normally this happens. Normally your normals get inverted when you mirror. It, but as I said, it doesn't always happen. But if this happens, you can simply or add a normal map modifier. Or you can select the element and you go up here to flip. So if your normals are ever inverted, which only really happens um, with mirroring inside of 3ds Max. Inside of Blender, it's a bit easier to get this. But then you can just simply press flip over here and that will flip them back. So that was uh, very quickly just like the mirroring. Uh, remember, mirroring is very similar to symmetry, but symmetry inside of 3ds Max is super powerful. And I will go over that in its own chapter. The next thing that we have is align. What align does is it basically... If you have like uh, models, it can place one model on top of another model. This is super useful if you, for example, have the exact same models that are only like slightly different and you need to have them exactly on top of each other. For example, when you're baking down models from high poly to low poly. You simply click on align and you click on whatever model you want to align it with. So let's say I want to align it with this cube. Then it will tell you, I want to align just the X, Y or Z position. No, I want to align everything. Do I want to match the scale from that model? I want to, do for, you can, for example, say, yes, I want to do that. But uh, this only works if you've done scaling using a pivot and not scaling using actual dragging out our cubes. Uh, orientation is the rotation. If you want to align the rotation, for example. And over here, you can also choose, I want to align it at the center, at the pivot point, at the maximum point or the minimum point. This is all just has to do with uh, evolving around the center. So for example, I want to say, okay, the current object, I want to center the current object to the center of the next object because the pivot point is at the bottom. So what you can see happening here is that it centers our big cube to the pivot point at the bottom of our small cube. So yeah, uh, this takes some playing around with. I tend to just leave it like this. Uh, I rarely will need to change it. So it's just a very handy align tool. And yeah, so that was the align and the mirror tool.